Yeah, I feel like once we're this far in, you know, he's going to be just trying to make it through the bracket. I, I, maybe one of those two. We could see things like the Warrior with a Sheik, but this far in, I'd be surprised. Yeah. For a second, I got real scared. I thought you said we have a Ganon. We're gonna actually have to go give uh, K9 some coach. Hey, listen, cuz, let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that hard. Long, long, long animal. He didn't have to say that. We're gonna be getting Pokemon Whoa. Trainer versus Wolf. Yeah, like I said, gonna be the matchup. Interesting matchup per se. Uh, each Pokemon does respectively well against uh, Wolf. But when it comes time for Wolf to come in and hit him, just Wolf, his damage output is still so good on no matter what trainer. And uh, once Wolf gets a one hit on Squirrel, you're gonna want to switch over to the IV. And then like the neutral comes about 50-50. But again, once Wolf gets another hit, it goes over to the Charizard. Uh, gets that first hit. Here we go. There's a loop. Multiple combos. Gets that up. Ever since the other side, not gonna react correctly to the DI. I even right now, but K9 just done a great job of spacing these F tilts, and F tilt for Shine actually gonna open K9 up instead. He really just did F smash, try down tilt, try again on the F smash right there. I mean, give me a, <laughs> show me a punishable smash attack. Not that one. <laughs> Wait, Shine stayed Squirtle the whole time. Oh, yeah, uh, he was mean, looking for that F tilt. That makes sense. Yeah, I feel like Squirtle honestly doesn't have that bad of a time killing it. It's a matchup like this where you can go for like F tilt tech chases on fast followers, especially where they're not gonna fly very high. Wolf isn't a fast follower, he's a mid wave. Is he not? I thought all this space. Uh, you know what? He might still be fast follower, but he is like heavier. I mean, I'm pretty sure Dina is still a fast follower, even though he's heavy. Yeah. Uh, it's not like a wave thing. No, I wasn't saying that by weight, I just couldn't remember. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, getting back into it. Shinny now going over to the Charizard. His his favorite Pokemon, per, you can uh, comfortably say. You see him pull it out a lot. Stay with it. Now he has his cannon on the edge. Just does that get up attack. Get off me. Charizard is so scary on the ledge, too. You knew what you're going to be. He has options for that F tilt, for that forward throw. A lot of options yeah, he can do. Honestly, with the most recent patch, Charizard's ledge trapping is actually kind of crazy. Charizard's kind of broken, but you know what? Uh, what is broken? That wolf back air. Now Shine down three to one. Gets a parry and goes for a back air out of that. That was weird. He like <laughs> get the he hell was off in me. front of him and parry crossed him up. Yeah, Ivysaur's back air really does hit behind him a lot of the time. You saw that. And Shine finally gonna get that first stock off of K9. But now he's into the Squirtle at that low percent. He needs that one grab so he can get about 50%. Here we wolf go. Roll back. behind the classic tech chase. Calls him out with that back air. Yeah, K9 kind of all over him, especially when he's going for these swaps and making it so they aren't just a get out of jail free card for him. I like that K9 went for that uh, wolf flash. Immediately don't want to go low against Ivysaur. You already know what's going to happen if that happens. Oh, no jump for K9 by an aggressive up being right into Ivysaur's face. Uh, Shinny not looking like he knows what the hell was that grab. <laughs> he teleported. Like I love watching grabs that hit from like way too far away. They're so beautiful. Pivot grabs are interesting. Pivot grabs are a blessing. But speaking of a blessing, K9 has a blessing on this game. He's had such control over the match. Good tech, though. Water tech, but oh, I believe he, he wanted side. He got the up the He wanted a side angle of something, you could say the least. Now, uh, Shine probably, probably really happy about that because now it's at that high stock, one to one. He's gonna try for the back go back here. We both know it. If I had a guess, I'm gonna say 15% and uh, back go back here at the ledge will kill. Oh, back back air hitting uh, Shine's tail because he went for that nair. Gonna take that game one with the JV2, but did bring it back to a one stock deficit himself. So yeah, Shine K K K was just kind of all over Shine all game. You know, he he had the pressure. He was spacing his F tilts incredibly well when Shine would try and punish it and then get that punished was so good. himself. Yeah, what I like to maybe see from Shine a little more. We saw that first stock. He was on Squirtle for an incredibly long time. Oh. No, that's that's fine. He was on Squirtle for a long time. He wanted to get that out tilt check chase. After he missed it, I think he should have switched over. I'd like to see him like be a little more liberal with his switching instead of staying for characters. But now Shine going over the DK. He wanted to go all PT, but uh, if you paid attention to Shine, you know him versus DK. Him, his DK versus Wolf is a funny matchup. Yeah, he definitely does like it, especially being able to walk. Uh, throw, walk. just throw these characters in the trash can at 40%. 
it's honestly like art to watch. Yeah, you know, she has got some stuff. Triple Nair. Okay, K9. K9's yeah. been getting some new stuff of his own. K9 is tired of people making fun of him. Gets that Nair out of shield. Oh, no. told. Walk him off? No, no he's going to go for the DKO instead, and that'll kill. Man, <laughs> that is us. that is literally the whole matchup. Wolf is gonna. I saw. I looked him in the eye. Yeah, K9. Wolf is always gonna do about a hundred percent. But if you don't kill him by the time Wolf's at fifty, you gotta just risk being anywhere. And I understand why Sheena went uh, over to DK for here because K9 did give him PS2. Yeah, and uh, what <laughs> DK loves PS2. It feels like we're seeing K9 kind of play scared of the DK right now. Just go for the things that like max range and hope Sheena approaches. But Sheena goes there. He's not running into anything. And cares and with that up slash not gonna kill DK still heavy. Back air does not care who you are. Yeah, no, well, Sheena gone. Bear hitting uh, behind him, but bearing him. I knew uh, that was gonna happen. God, this Excuse me? Thank god DK's low tier. Thank god DK only has like his cargo throw. Getting into it, K9 now bringing this back, and he's at the point, past the point of the uh, ding dong, so you don't really have to worry about uh, yeah, like, yeah mean, you get walked off at 90. Yeah, he has to worry about getting walked off even if he's not under a platform now. I was just gonna say like, it's that falling up air into the back here. That was really cool. Oh, and that big down air, K9 yeah. answering back. Yeah, and that's where I want to see more of uh, from K9 is just being willing to go aggressive off stage in that situation. Kena with that spot dodge, not gonna take the stock just yet. Kena probably gonna want to go for a space back air or a grab at this point, try to get this kill, but Kena is playing so safe. He's doing a lot of good cross ups too. Yeah, he's really having none of it when it comes to like misspacing his aerials, giving Shine a grab. Goes for that. Yeah. Yep, put him in the dirt. But you know what? I like it. Huh? E even if Kena lost the stock for it, if he hit that, he won the set. And I he had another stock to go with. He still has a pretty big lead here. See, I don't agree with that in the in the sense of you're going against DK, and more specifically, Shine DK. Shine is known for bringing these things back. You don't want to give Shine any room. You want to beat him, and especially with that risk, it was an all or nothing. And K9 knows that once you have that deficit against DK, things get so scary. Look, he's already at 45. And that could be it if Shine gets another hit. Yeah, this is actually really scary if you're K9 too. Oh, oh. great spot touch from Shine. Oh, and gets a trip. It. That's it. See, what did I say? Don't want to go with these risks against Shine. If you're going to beat him, two stock him. Don't go out and don't overextend yourself. Because Shine will take that Shine will take that uh, that chance and just reverse him in disadvantage. But well, YMCA is back there trying. Why, why don't I get to do that, man? Like, what? You know what, Yumika? <laughs> you're better at grabbing people. You know, even laughed at that. He knows he didn't deserve that game. But who won? You now going over into game three, you can guess that if uh, K9 is in that same situation, I don't think he's going to go for that down air again. You know, thinking about what he's going to do, stays with the DK. Now what will K9 do? You have to stay with the wolf, I think it was a good idea. Again, you want to make sure that not only you have the read, but you more have the reaction to know where he's going to be. Into game three. Be going over to Kalos. I think this is a good pick because uh, these platforms over more to the side. Yeah. And the fact that Kalos is really big, so you won't really be it seeing DK get to the DKO that much. Yeah, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Shane. How'd that back get hit him? The boxes in this game are perfectly designed. Oh, yeah, I forgot what kind of smash was. Yeah, I'm keeping Shane at the ledge right now. Oh. Maybe going for a roll read or hoping that that F would hit the neutral get up. It almost hit the get-up attack, but, you know, DK's hand is not quite there. I love how patient K9's being on the ledge. He's giving Shine space to make him feel comfortable, and then just react. Alright, dash attack is a zone breaker there for Shine. Let's go for space and airs. Shine trying to whip punish him. Ooh, great. nice little cross of Tomahawk there from K9. Puts Shine back on the low. I thought Shine was going to, like, jump up down air and just... Do some crazy things, but it's a really good way of getting off the ledge. That looks so gross. Nice. Uh, kind of getting trapped on that platform there. Uh, kind of of his own design, though. What a call out. Another back air says, K9, you're going to just reel back. You don't want to recover early because you think I'm going to be there. And instead, I'm all the way out there ready for you. Right now, two stocks apiece. Shine not getting a chance to get his hit yet, but we all know uh, 
That's what's supposed to happen, DK. You're not supposed to get a hit until you're about 90. Now she may get to play the game, maybe. Yep, there's the forward air. Very good start with that, a nair. Oh, nice team attack. Nice move there from K9. I think Shane maybe thought he was gonna be on the platform. Or uh, go on the ledge. K9 with a two stock lead. Really, really interesting uh, wolf flash. Just for the fourth throw, you wanna get these tech chases. But sitting him right back onto the platform, onto the stage. Yeah, it feels like K9's really waiting out these spot dodges from Shine. After these like landing down these things like that, uh, Shine's oftentimes going for things like a spot dodge just because you know it's good in this game. But walk him off. And this might be it though. Oh, Shine, just kind of going back to the stage. Interesting idea. That up air will definitely kill. I like how Shine's just harassing uh, K9 in the air with these up airs. I feel like maybe Shine wasn't confident that the back air would beat the wolf flash or something. If he got spiked by it, he'd lose. That's true, but we've known Shine to go for those kind of re uh, go things in the future. Now, is he going to go off for it again? No. Yeah, he stayed on stage this time. He knows there's a lot to risk here. Yeah, and that was a really good start from Shine. Using his double jump to go backwards and bait out and sort of like <laughs> landing up there with double jump. <laughs> don't make that face. Game three, last stock. This is about as even as it gets, I'm not gonna lie to you. Shields the, uh, the DK punch. Yeah, but there's so much knockback. He reads the get up attack, but he miss spaces the, or miss times rather on the dash tag. Setting there again, Shine. K9 knows there's a lot to risk here. At the ledge, Shine coming up with aggressive back air. But calls him out with a back air of his own, gonna get immediately taken off. K9 yeah. gonna take that one 2 0. Oh. Yeah, Shinai kind of jumped out of disadvantage one too many times for K9 to not catch on at the end. Yeah, unfortunate stuff for Shinai. He knows if he got that hit, he would have been able, he might have been able to extend it to a whole stock.